hello and welcome welcome to the channel in today's video we are going to learn about property observers so property observers observe and respond to change in a property value so that means that property observers will be called every time a property value is set even though the new value is same as the property's old value or the current value you can say that so you can add property observer to stored properties you defined so you can have the option to define property observers as we have two type of property observer provided in swift will set and detox so this is not mandatory you can either use both of them or you can use one of them so it's not a restriction so here the will set will just call before the value is stored to the property and it set is called immediately after the new value is stored so the cycle is same as the name implies that its view will appear and the view did appear so here we have will set and did set so will set will get scored first and then did set observer will be invoked whenever property value is changed so now here let's look at it programmatically that how we can create a property and use property observers on that property so here for this tutorial i already created a simple demo application that simply contains a table view and whenever a user tap on this text field and enter a number it's just add that number here inside the table view and whenever a row is deleted the table view also gets updated as the entry is moved from the stored array for this we used the transactions property named transactions and here we are just reloading data whenever a new value is appended to the transaction array and similarly the data is loaded again whenever the transactions removes an element so here the, we can use property observer and then replace these two lines of codes into one single line so how we can implement property observers let's see first we will move this tbl reload data statement and now here in our property where transactions of type price we will create a property observer first we will set will set what we will not use it we will use did set and here we just simply tvl transactions dot reload data and now let's run our app so here let's add a value 45 and now you can see the tvl is getting reloaded again so it means that this statement gets invoked whenever the value is added to a row and similarly if i try to delete the second row it contains 76 so now you can see this is also getting updated the table is getting updated here so with property observers we can use that whenever a property is changed so we can invoke certain kind of functions associated with that property so now if you want to get a deeper look so here will set property contains a default value and that value has named new value print new value is equals to new value this is the default name given by the swift compiler to parameter if you want to change the name then you can add this parameter here like new property or something else whatever you want so i am not going to change it i am just sticking with the default and here you can print which set will contain the old value is equals to old value so now if we run the app
then here just delete this console and here we add 45 so now the new value here the will set gets called first and it contains the value 45 and the old value that is the did set has nothing because the old value didn't have the old value of this transaction property is in empty array so similarly if i add one more 67 then you can see the old value contains only one element and will set that is the new value is going to assign to this transaction property having two elements and the old value that is this transaction property contains has only one value so these are the property observers and you can use it in your apps or whenever required where you need that your particular property make some changes whenever a change is associated with the value of this property so this is the property observer that is will set and did set so if you have any questions for these property observers then feel free to comment and i will try to answer it as soon as i can